the backyard. A place full of grass, trees, and flowers. A very peaceful and, well, somewhat boring place at first glance. But don't let looks deceive you. Here there is an entire world of life and death struggles between predator and prey. This world is the world of insects. Ever since I was a little kid, insects have always fascinated me. There's just such a huge variety. They seem to come in all shapes and sizes. Down from things that are not even as big as your fingernail, to things big enough to creep out even the most stout-hearted people. Though we share the same planet with these amazing creatures, their experience is far different than ours. They live in a world where every flower is a skyscraper and every rainstorm is a life-threatening flash flood. So to observe these creatures, we have to throw away our preconceptions about the boring backyard and take the time to really look at our surroundings. And to truly understand them, we have to shrink ourselves down to their level, where even the grass becomes a vast forest around us. What actually is an insect? I figure we should clear that up straight away. The animal kingdom is divided up into groups known as phyla. Me and you are in the phylum chordata, along with all the other animals that have a backbone. Insects, however, fall into the phylum arthropoda. All arthropods have a hard exoskeleton, a segmented body, and at least three pairs of jointed legs. The phylum arthropoda is then divided up into classes. There are several here, but Insecta is the one we're mostly focusing on. Okay, so now we've narrowed it down to the class Insecta. So what external features make an animal fall into this category? That's a hard question to answer because there are so many exceptions. We'll generalize as much as possible so that this doesn't get too messy. The typical insect body is divided into three parts. The head is the part with the eyes, the thorax is the part in the middle, and the abdomen, that's the back end. These three body parts are not always so easy to distinguish from one another as they are here. Insects also have six jointed legs. No insect has more except for some immature forms such as caterpillars, but those are called prolegs and they... Sorry, let's just keep this as simple as possible. Insects have six jointed legs. So insects may seem a bit simple. Indeed, they are nowhere near as complex as mammals or even reptiles. But this simple formula works. In fact, there are far more different species in the class Insecta than any other group of animals. Insects probably first appeared around 400 million years ago. To put that into perspective, the dinosaurs went extinct only about 65 million years ago, so that puts it back quite a bit. Since then, they have been the only arthropod group to master flight and have been enormously successful. Okay, so now we know that an insect is a six-legged animal with three body segments. But wait. Think back to the beginning of this video. I believe we saw a couple things that didn't seem to fit this description very well. Remember this guy? We can see from here that it has more than six legs, and I can only see two body parts. So is this spider an insect that is just an exception to the rule, or is this something else completely? And if so, what is it doing in a video called insects? And what about this thing? It doesn't look like it fits the description at all. Well, we'll come back to these guys later. For now, let's just move on. Alright, I think we've wasted enough time discussing what an insect is. We can spend all day nitpicking the specifics of this incredibly diverse class of animals, but where's the fun in that? The real excitement comes from actually spending time with these awesome creatures. So without further ado, 
Let's head to the backyard and get up close and personal with some of these guys. Thank you.